So for some of you, you need to have multiple administrators on a local PC. This is a local PC admin account. So this is your Windows 11 desktop, and we're wanting to add a local administrator to that desktop. So stay tuned. We're going to jump right to how to do that. It's actually a pretty simple process. So remember in uh, Windows or any application, the administrator has full access to the entire system. So I cannot emphasize enough exercise caution. Make sure that the administrator that you're adding to the account has full, um, that's going to have full rights to this machine. Make sure that the password is very complex and that it's guarded by two-factor authentication where possible. So nice, long, complex password and guarded by two-factor authentication for that administrator account at minimum. Because if somebody breaks into your machine as the administrator on that local machine, they're going to have access to everything on that machine, including applications and data. So you just want to be careful to make sure that the person who has local administrator rights will guard and protect that password. All right, enough for the safety briefing. Let's go ahead and get started. So here, to get this right here settings, we can hit the what they call the Windows key and an I. So the Windows key is actually on your keyboard, looks just like this. And if you hold it down, press I, and then release, it's going to open up this screen. So I'm going to shut this screen real quick so you can see that. I'm going to do it. Windows, I. Okay, then it's going to pull up your machine itself. Right there to settings. Okay, so good. The second way that you can do this is to go to search right here and just type in settings. And you see it right there? Just click on it. And it's going to bring you up to the same place. Okay, so either way, you're here within settings. The next thing you need to do is go over here to settings and just type in admin. And when you type in admin, notice it says add, edit, or delete. We're going to click on that bad boy. Okay, so the local admin account is already here. It's not showing up, but we're going to add another user. So we're just going to click on add account. And it's going to ask for your email address, and it's going to want a Microsoft email address. Okay, so I'm going to type in my lovely bride. All right. And we're going to click on next. Now it's going to say they're connected, right? In order to log on first time, blah, blah, blah. Hit finish. Now here, this individual is good to go and they're signed on as an account, but we need to elevate their rights. So we're going to click on that down arrow right there. We're going to say change account type. And then we're going to go ahead and click in here. We're going to move that standard. The standard account is a standard user. Okay. We're going to click on administrator. And then we're going to click OK. Now notice that they are an administrator now on this machine. The account this account right here maria at hotmail.com that account is now going to be added as a log on when you log on to this machine so i can't show the log on because it'll go outside of my youtube uh, recording application but you know when you log on to the computer for the first time you'll see an opportunity to log on as this individual right and then you log on as that account and you'll get into the administrator account it's always suggested that you do not use your email your primary email as the administrator that you create another email and use it as the administrator okay and then only use that email when you want to do administrator type of tasks to sign off or to log out you can click on your start button again right there. You can click on this guy here and you can say sign in options. When you click in sign in options, you could see what the options are when you sign in, but you could also log out. So if you click here, you can say sleep, which is going to put the computer to sleep and reprompt 
username and password. You can also restart the machine and you can change those options as that shows you right there behind. So lots of good stuff. You can force it to shut down and always require uh, username and password. Um, you can bypass that. So I would suggest that you use it only use the account you've set up here as your admin only use this account when you're doing administrative stuff when you're not doing administrative stuff use your normal username and password okay to remove this account is pretty simple we click on the down arrow and say right here remove once we hit remove it's going to delete the account and all of its data on that computer boom now you're done and it's as simple as that good luck